Hi, Ben from Miro, and we want to know what is the best cost per cycle battery currently available. The aim is to look at the three main types of battery technologies that are available and provide information so that you can make an informed decision when selecting a backup solution for your requirement. Let's get into it. The three main battery technologies we will look at is deep cycle lead acid, such as AGM, our luminous tall turbulent battery, which is also lead acid, and lithium iron phosphate. Let's start by understanding some key concepts when dealing with batteries. Voltage can be described as the pressure that exists within the battery to push the current to the connected loads. When dealing with lead acid batteries, it can range from 6 volts, 9 volts, or 12 volts. The tall turbular batteries are all 12 volt batteries. Lithium batteries are typically 48 volt batteries and this is due to how the individual lithium cells are connected. These cells each have a nominal voltage of 3 volt and are connected in series to provide a 48 volt system. You also get 12 volt lithium iron phosphate batteries that have the same form factor as the lead acid AGM batteries. But for the sake of this video, we went with 48 volt system. The amp hour rating of a battery, for example 100 amp hour or 200 amp hour, refers to the available energy capacity of the battery. Let's say we have a 200 amp hour battery. This means you can take the amount of amps being used from the connected load and divide the total energy capacity by that load. For example, if your connected load is only 50 amps, you can divide 200 by 50 to indicate how long your battery will last, and in this case, it will last 4 hours. In the case of a lithium battery, the cells are typically 100 amp hour cells, and because the cells are connected in series, the voltage has increased, but the amp hour remains to 100 amp hour. Another key concept is C rating, which describes how much current the battery will deliver over a set period of time. For example, a C20 rating means that the battery must be discharged over 20 hours, which limits the maximum amperage that can be drawn from the battery. A C1 battery means that the battery can be discharged in one hour, and if it is a 100 amp hour battery, this means that the battery can be discharged at 100 amps for one hour. All batteries have a recommended DOD percentage, or depth of discharge. DOD is the recommended depth of energy expenditure, or energy, that can be used from a battery without damaging the internal chemistry. Deep cycle AGM batteries have a recommended DOD of 70%, which means that you can only use 70% of the total capacity of the battery. For example, a 200 amp hour AGM battery can only provide 140 amp hour of usable capacity. Our tall turbulent battery supports an 80% depth of discharge and a 200 amp hour battery, this means that you have 160 amp hours of usable capacity. The same principle applies to our lithium battery. For example, the battery is a 100 amp hour battery but can also be discharged to 80%, providing 80 amp hours of usable capacity. There is another way to express or calculate the usable energy capacity and is expressed in watt hours or kilowatt hours. To calculate the watt hour of your battery solution, you simply multiply the voltage of the battery with the amp hour of your battery. For example, our 12 volt 200 amp hour deep cycle AGM battery will be 12 volt times 200 amp hour, giving you 2400 watt hours or 2.4 kilowatt hours capacity. Keep in mind that the limit of 70% DOD applies, so 2400 watt hours times 0.7 equates to 1680 of usable capacity in watt hours. For the tall turbulent batteries, this is also a 12 volt 200 amp hour battery, which also gives us 2400 watt hours or 2.4 kilowatt hours capacity. As the DOD is limited to 80%, this means that we will have 1920 watt hours of usable capacity. For the lithium battery, this equation remains the same. Remember that we mentioned the cells are connected in series, 
and the voltage of the battery is 48 volts at 100 amp hour which means the capacity is 4800 watt hours or at a DOD of 80%. The usable capacity will be 3840 watt hours. Now that we have a basic understanding of voltage, amp hours, C rating and capacity, the next is to work out how to calculate our battery bank based on our load requirements. So let's say we have a load that uses a total of 500 watt and you need to cover 8 hours of the grid being down. To calculate the energy consumption for this period you simply multiply 500 watt or your load by the duration that needs to be covered of 8 hours which gives you 4000 watt hours. For a conventional deep cycle AGM battery we would need about 4 12 volt 200 amp hour batteries. You can either connect your battery bank in series or in parallel but this will be dependent on what the DC input voltage requirement is for your inverter. If we stick to the conventional inverters such as a Victron Multi Plus 48 volt system we will need to connect the batteries in series. A series connection on a battery bank is connecting the negative terminal of the first battery to the positive terminal on the next battery until all four batteries are connected and from the first battery the main positive terminal and from the last battery the main negative terminal is connected to the inverter. To calculate the capacity of the system we take 48 volts multiplied by 200 amp and that gives us 9600 watt hours and at a limit of 70 percent depth of discharge we have 6200 watt hours of usable capacity. This is more than enough for the 4000 watt hour required by our load. For the tall turbulent battery solution the same applies. We will connect the batteries in series to push up the voltage to 48 volts. You might be wondering why we would prefer to have a higher voltage. The answer is simple. Higher voltage means that we have more pressure and we don't require thick gauge copper cables as compared to parallel connections that has a higher amperage. Again we have four 12 volt 200 amp hour batteries connected in series giving us a total capacity of 9600 watt hours and at an 80% DOD gives us 7680 watt hours of usable capacity again being more than the required 4000 watt hours. The lithium solution is already a 48 volt battery with 100 amp hours providing 4800 watt hours of capacity and at an 80% DOD it will provide 3840 watt hours of usable capacity. This is slightly less than the 4000 watt hours required. With the lithium batteries such as the Shotos you cannot connect the batteries in series and they have to be connected in parallel which means that you will have to connect the negative terminal of one battery to the negative terminal on the second battery and the same with the positive terminals. These batteries have two negatives and two positive terminals which means that from the second battery you can connect the main negative and positive terminal to the connected inverter. With a parallel connection you will then have 48 volts multiplied by 200 amp hours giving you 9600 watt hours capacity and at an 80% DOD you will have 7680 watt hours of usable capacity. To calculate the cost per cycle we need to calculate the price of the battery bank and divide it by the number of cycles given by the battery manufacturer and that specific depth of discharge. Cycles are how many times the manufacturer states the battery can be charged and discharged at a specific depth of discharge. The higher the constant depth of discharge the lower the cycle count. The average price of a deep cycle AGM 12 volt 200 amp hour battery is 8000 rands and with four batteries required that would equate to a cost of 32,000 rand. Divide that by 450 cycles gives you a cost per cycle of 71 rand. The average price of a 48 volt 100 amp hour lithium battery is 23,000 rand and in our scenario we needed two batteries which would push our price up to 46,000 rand. 
Lithium batteries can provide 4,000 cycles at 80% DOD, which would make our cost per cycle 4 and 50. Our 12 volt, 200 amp hour tall turbulent batteries average is about 6,000 Rand, and with four required, would make our cost 24,000 Rand. However, providing 1,500 cycles at 80% depth of discharge equates to 16 Rand cost per cycle. This is slightly higher when compared to lithium. However, take into consideration that your initial capital layout for the battery bank is only half of the lithium solution. So, what is the best cost per cycle battery currently available? Our recommendation is the tall turbulent battery solution from Luminous, as the initial capital layout is less when compared to the other solutions. And the cost per cycle sits at less than 20 Rand, which makes this a cost-effective, robust solution for the South African and African market. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified when a new video is released. For more information, click the link in the description below or get in touch with us. If you know what you're looking for, why not order your solution directly online by visiting www.miro.co.za or send us an email to sales at miro.co.za or give us a call on 012-657-0960.